Yo, what's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Flyer69, coming at you guys today with episode number 37 of the Philadelphia Flyers Franchise Mode Series. Here we are, year 10 Stanley Cup playoffs, and we're back in it. We made it year 8. We didn't make it year 9, which is a bummer. It's an absolute bummer, but here we are in the playoffs for the first time since, obviously, year eight. And we're going to be taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets because we decided to win, what was it, our last game? Our last game or our last two games? Last two? I think it was our last two because we had the chance to go against the Montreal Canadiens who are the winners of the Atlantic Division. We actually went on a roll there at the end, four or five. Look at us. We won four of our last five. We, oh, I fucking went to the wrong spot. What am I doing? Simply, what am I doing? What what am I doing? I don't know. What is he cooking? He ain't cooking nothing. All right. So, as I was saying, we could have faced the Canadians in the first round, but we started winning, obviously, the 4 or 5 late. We are not going to be taking on the Montreal Canadiens in the first round. And personally, in my opinion, I think this would have been a lot better of a matchup for us. In the playoffs, rather than Columbus, I think Columbus, who is the second seed in our division, we are third. We're only two points away or a point away off of Columbus. But I think Columbus is, I'm pretty sure, better than Montreal. And when you look at this team, the top six, pretty solid. Craig Gerby, uh, Sullivan, Renald, I think I said that right. I don't know. You got Patty Line, the Bison King, Jesse Pugliarvi, Cole Sillinger, Pavel Voloshenko, however the hell you say it, Alexi Lockin Lotionoff. So we're going to call him Lotionoff. I know that's not even right, but it's going to be right today. Alex Formanton, Mario Bork, Wyatt Angle, Jake DeBrusque, fourth line. He was here on this t Flyers team for a little while. Oscar Olison. Then defensively, are they got Adam Bockfist, Denton Mount. Matty Chuck, I don't know if I said that right at all. Matty Marjamaki, uh, maybe. Larry Kahn's medium elite defenseman. Is he offensive? He's a defense defenseman. Oh, okay. All right, they have a pretty stout young defense core besides that bottom pairing. And Stuart Skinner and Nett. When you compare this Columbus team compared to us, I genuinely believe we're definitely better. I mean, just look at our top six. It's filth. Zegris, Matthew Ward, Konechny, Cutter Gauthier. Stephon Carlson, William Eklund, then our third line. Meyer, he might not be... Th I mean, we're going to give him a chance here in these playoffs, but he might get taken away off that third line. That's a possibility. Sean Couture, Casper Holton, and Julian West, Boris Fedorov, and Cade Sigalet, and then defensively, we are banged up, if I'm correct, right? Oh, no, Yuri's back. Okay, bet. Yuri's back. I didn't put him in the lineup, which I should have. So who's coming out of the lineup? We did put Kobe Haru in. And did he play any games for us in the regular season? He just wasn't really very good at all. Even, yeah, he just wasn't fantastic. So what's going to happen here? He's going to come out. We're going to put in Ilya Briskov. Get that Yuri Briskov, not Ilya. Yeah, that Yuri-Yuri combo. Then Provorov from the point, And then Cernak and Damian Nielsen, who's been lights out this pairing all year long. Been lights out, which been phenomenal for us to see honestly which i'm really happy to see is that going to stay up in the playoffs i hope and brisk is back on the first pairing off for the power play boom perfect and i just want to check that montreal team right quick because what could we been potentially facing if we didn't you know go in that little role there they're kind of nasty that top six lars sunfist nick suzuki dylan cousins you're off Solkowski. Old ass Elias Lindholm. How how many points did he get? Eighteen point. I mean, he's he was almost a point per game player for them. So if anything, honestly, maybe we did not want the Canadians because they do have a, a pretty stout top six. Bottom six. I mean, that's still a pretty good bottom six too. And defensively, we were better for sure defensively. I would say, and they do have the goaltending and Tony Ronaldo. So they do have the goaltending. So that is something to keep an eye out on. They do have the goaltending. So maybe we did dodge a bullet. Maybe not playing Montreal. Maybe. Maybe not. We are the better team. We still have Carter Hart in that. Let me remind you guys. Year three, we won the Stanley Cup. I believe we can do it again. This team is very good. When you compare it to some of the favorites in the playoffs, like... Pittsburgh, and I'll show you guys one last time what Pittsburgh looks like. They were the best team in the Eastern Conference this year. We, I mean, Pittsburgh's a good team, 
But I think we can match up against them. Gensel, Pedersen, Dawson Mercer, Hepaniemi, Desbians, I think I say, I don't know. Nicholas Alisson. Like, the top six really good, but that bottom six is pretty good. Reed Schaefer, Josh Norris, Michael Rasmussen, and Lekkanen, Elias Owen, and then Dominic Cahoon. I mean, that's a pretty good bottom six. Defensively, we are better. We're definitely better defensively for sure. Marty Colborn, friend of the team. Uh, he was here for a long time, but then we traded him because he just wasn't, you know, developing that well. So we traded him. And in net, we are better than them. So we definitely have the upper hand, I would say, on paper. Now we just got to put it together. We just have to put it together, and let's waste no more time. Let's do game one of the first round. Here we go. And also, we're going to be doing not the entire playoffs. I would say all the way up, if we were to make the Stanley Cup Final, the Stanley Cup Final would be its own episode, as we're losing 2 nothing already. But if we... Oh my god, it's 3 nothing. It's 3 nothing after one. Alex Formanton's absolutely shitting all over us. So let's say we get past the first two rounds. We're probably going to include the Eastern Conference Final, maybe in this episode, or its own episode, maybe. Maybe, I'm not so sure. Uh... We'll, we'll see how this video goes, but either way, the first two rounds, if we get past the first, we have to worry about the first round, but if we get past the first, the second round's going to be in this episode, maybe even the Eastern Conference Final, I am not necessarily sure right yet, we're going to get there, but we're already down 3 nothing. jeez, uh, that's not a good start, the shots are about even too, okay, Siggy, here we go, you get that fraud, Stuart Skinner in that, How, we, we should easily be able to get two more on him, right? Right? We should be able to get two more on them. Now we're out shooting them. There, there we go, Zeeks. Trevor Zegers. One goal game now. Hey. Hey. One goal game. And we still got five minutes remaining in the second. And then a whole 20 in the third. I believe. Hey, we're not out of this yet. Hey. No, 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 no. We're too damn talented to be out of this yet. Zegers, Ward, and Konechny, that first line. That's a damn good pairing. I still believe in this team. I, was, but, I mean, Zegers finally kind of started clicking this year finally which is something we desperately needed so that's fantastic but we are down one still eight minutes left come on now they just killed off the power pound other power short-handed goal cutter goat j boom there we go we're gonna have, have ourselves overtime in game one of the first round we're not gonna jump into the overtime right yet i think if we get past the first round maybe we'll do that and watch but not this game not this game because, let's be real, we've done this so many times. Those games go forever. They go forever. We're not going to do it for game one. Now, if there's a game seven or if a whatever happens, we might watch certain parts of the game. Like, it's more crucial games. Not game one. Probably not the first three games, to be fair. Probably not. Here we go. Over. What a comeback win. Like I told you, boys. Fourth line. Why are they out there within the first minute of overtime? Don't know, but the new acquisition at the trade deadline, Julian West, gets it done within the first minute of overtime, wasting no damn time, winning the game, coming back down from 3 0. That's a statement win right there. Absolute statement win coming. Okay. Why was Hart taken out of the game? I guess the first, yeah. They allowed, he's allowed three goals, and then Anunin goes in there and shuts it down okay he shut it down i mean we came back i guess they took hard out after he allowed the first three goals but hey that's a huge win that is a statement win not backing down from being down three nothing not having that quit in us i believe hey that's a huge win hey, that's a whole 14 14 goals against yeah so oh, we gotta switch that save percentage I would love to run it back with a Noonan, but you got to give the hot... I, I, I still trust Carter Hart. I still trust him. He's got to play game two. I still believe in that boy. I am not going to down him. No, no sorry. I am not going to. That's still my. That's still our franchise goaltender at the age of 33 or 34, whatever he is now. That's still our guy. I'm not backing away from him. Now, if he has a bad game this game, sure. And... The Bison King gets the Blue Jackets on the board first. But hey, we get the power play killed off. Okay. After one, it is one nothing still. Shots are even. 12 to 12. Not too bad. Not. I mean, I mean, we should. We don't want to be losing. Let's, let's not act like we are losing this game. So, power play for the Blue Jackets is killed off. They are out shooting us by one. We just need to get on the four check. Just throw pucks on net. Puck, pucks in deep. Pucks in deep. 
Come on, boys. And Renault scores. That is a 3 nothing game. Oof. And yet again, 3 nothing. Hey, we came back from down 3 nothing once. We can do it again. Which is just a little harder. 20 minutes to do it. And we can get the power play go off. Okay, I don't have that much faith now. I mean, hey, I've seen crazier. Th okay, it's over. It's over. All right, 4 nothing. We lose game 2. Okay, well, they came back firing. Stuart Skinner, I did diss his name a little bit. I did. And he comes back down in game two and absolutely shits all over us and shuts us out. Okay. Honestly, Hart's been trash. I don't know if it's because of the defense in front of him. I'm going to run with the hot hand. Anunin was phenomenal in that game. I'm going to believe. And this could be it. We're going to put Provorov with Brisgalov. The point with... Yeah, I think you're going to have to throw in a higher overall. Higher overalls when it comes to playoff time, they matter. Uh, we're going to do this. We're going to... Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Eh, let's go Sadikov from the point. Oh, yeah, I remember last year. Sadikov was so bad defense. Uh, not last year, but the last time we made playoffs. Sadikov was so bad defensively. I mean, he was awful. I mean, awful. We're going to... We're going to... We're going to trust. We just made some defensive changes. We're going to put Hart back in. I'm not going to overreact yet. He might have had a Mickey Mouse fraud defense in front of him. Got to remember that. The chemistries don't matter as much with the, you know, SimCast games. They don't matter as much. So we will probably have to go in and maybe make the line changes based off of, like, overalls. Because that's what's going to matter. We have another power play. Zegris does score. I was going to say, if that seemed like maybe a four or five minute power play. And we, if we weren't going to score on that, I would have been pissed. As we go on the power play again, gets killed off in the Blue Jackets. Their first chance they get on the power play, they fucking score. So, yay, whoop de doo And after one, it's going to be tied one to one But we're out shooting them massively. But Hart, on six shots, allows one goal. I better not see no more goals allowed, Hart. Because you're already on the brink of getting benched right now, okay? You're not, you did not have a first Two good games. We're at series is tied at one. I'm happy we just took one in Columbus, which we probably should have lost. We were down 3 nothing. We are not playing good in this series so far. Besides that comeback win, I mean, we got shit on game two. We're, I mean, we're playing good right now. We can't say that. It's only been two games. And Konechny shorthanded. And oh, it's a two-man advantage. And we killed off all Julian West, his second of the series. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Power play killed off again, but we are firing right now. We are absolutely buzzing as Manny Bork scores on our head. So it's 3-2 hard. You got to... I mean, bro, you good? Carter, you, you good, pal. Are you good? And after two, we're still up one. We're out shooting them by 11. I'm Julian West, fourth line acquisition, showing up in the playoffs. So I'm telling you, I said in the, tra the trade deadline, that is a playoff player right here. He's big, tough, and he can score. I love that. He didn't do much in the regular season, but hey, he might be that Danny Briere type of guy who only shows up in the playoffs. Briere, for, was it, for whatever reason, turned it up a notch in the playoffs, and now look at him turning it up a notch and being an absolute beauty as a GM. I trust him with all my heart as GM in the Philadelphia Flyers. I do, I do, I do, I do. However, we can't worry about that. Eight minutes, come on now. Hold on, boys. If we can get the series lead 2-1 going into game four, that could be huge. Just hold on. Hold on. 40 shots. Woo hoo hoo Damn, we were really firing offensively. I mean, give Stuart Skinner some credit. 38 save game. Yeah, we can't have that happen to no more. But hey, we win game three. Hart with a bounce back game. Hart had a bounce back game and 935 save percentage on 29 saves. Hart with, not Hart, connect me with two points. Okay, we're up 2-1. Going into game four. I'm liking this. Let's take a tour. Let's take a look around the playoffs so far. Uh, it's a lot of 3-0s. Going on in the West, the Kraken are beating the Flames, who are the, I mean, they're the lower seeds. Let's just show the playoff tree here so everyone gets a glimpse. The top seed, Nashville Predator, are they the top seed? Let's take a look here before I spread some misinformation. Let me just take a look. All right, the Avalanche are the high. Okay, that's not that bad. So this Blackhawks team is up 3-0 and then Preds. The Avalanche are the top seed. They're 3-1. and Okay, they're, they're up 3-1. They were 3-0. 3-1 on the Kings. Uh, the Flames are losing 0-3, and, and it's a 2-2 series out in Edmonton with the Stars. We are up 2-1 on the Blue Jackets. A 2-2 series between the Pens and the Devils. Okay. The Bolts are winning 2-1 over the Panthers. And the Rangers are up 3-1. 
on the Canadians. The Rangers have been so bad for 95% of this franchise mode. They've been so, so bad. I love every second of it. But hey, they might have something now. They're currently beating a top team out of the Atlantic, which isn't saying much. Montreal, they weren't even 100 points. That Atlantic division was fraudulent. That's all I'm going to say. But whew, Okay, come on now. We are coming out fiery in this game too. And we cut off that penalty. I mean, offensively, we are dominating Columbus and Pooley Arvey on the sixth shot of the game. Scores for the I was six shot for Columbus. One nothing Columbus after one. They got the shots pretty close there after uh, a while. Now they're kind of close. But man, we got to step up here. It seems like we're slipping a little bit. We're taking a ton of penalties right now. We can't be having it. No, no, no. We need to win this game. Yeah, the shots are about even now. Yeah, the offense is cooling off. Columbus is dialed in. Columbus is dialed in. Oof. Yeah, they're out shooting us by one now. After two. It is a one nothing Columbus lead. We need to get our heads out of our ass. That's what we got to do. We got to get our heads out of our ass, and we got to get going, boys. That's exactly what we got to do. We are up. I mean, we're down. I don't know what I'm talking about. Come on, boys. 15 minutes. Come on. <clears throat> oh, okay. We get. That doesn't help us now. It would have helped us maybe a little bit ago. Matty Bork's going the shorthanded, but power play goal for Coots, and we're on the power play again. Nobody does anything. We're going to slow this John down. The four. Okay. Come on, please, somebody. Somebody, please. Carlson. Let's go. 2-2 two, two game. Now this. Holton. He's alive? Holy. Yo. How did we just win this game? No. How did we just win this game? How did we just win? All of our goals came within the last 14 minutes of the game, and we beat the Blue Jackets, giving us a 3-1 series lead. Holton in with the game winner with two minutes remaining. Wow. That is huge. Carlson, two minutes before that, scored the game-tying goal. Stefan Carlson, the youngster, coming up clutch. He's been so good in the very the three seasons he's been up now. He's been so, so good. Casper Holton in. Boom! Getting that game. The kids! The kids! Look at him! Carlson and Holton. Holton has done not a lot in his tenure here in Philly. And we drafted him quite highly, expecting a lot of him. And hey, he just got us the game winner right here. And we have a 3-1 series lead going back to Columbus. Okay, uh, let's take a take a look here. Alright, uh who's gonna have the lead in Pittsburgh and Jersey? Who's gonna have the lead? Alright, Penguins are up 3-2, and we're up 3-1. So the winner of our series will play the Devils or the Penguins, and the Rangers knock off the Canadians, and the Bolts and Panthers are tied at two apiece. Alright, game five. Come on now. We need to win this. We need to win this. That is something we got to do. Let's just go. I want to win this. Get this series done and over with. Finish it off. And let's take our sights and focus on the Pittsburgh or whoever it might be. Devils, Penguins, whoever. Let's just focus on them. Cole Cylinder scores on the power play. But Yuri Brzezgalov right back at him. Oh. Oscar Olison scores. It's a 2-1 game. Now they are out shooting us. And Paul Yarvey scores. Make that a 3-1 game. Okay. Down two. Hey, two goal lead. I've, I've said this so many times. Two goal lead, worst lead in hockey. I believe. It's still early. Hey, we've come back in so many games in this series. We've been getting outplayed for probably 90% of this series, just like the Leafs were getting outplayed by the Bolts. And Pauly Arby makes it a three goal game. That's just great. We're getting outshot by 10. Honestly, I think I'm going to make some changes offensively. Yeah, we're up 3 1 right now. We'll be 3 2 after this game. But, like,. Until they start turning it up a notch, like when they do, when they come back, I'm just not really that impressed with our offense for the most part. I think we could be better. Power play for us gets killed off. I might make slight changes to our four lines, maybe. But yet again, we are up 3-2. I don't want to mess with it too much. You know what I mean? We do lose game five, whatever. We just want to go win it back in Philly. That's all that means. We just want to win it back in Philly. And a lot of upsets out in the West. All right, it's going to be Game 7 between Edmonton and Dallas. Seattle and Chicago both sweat their opponents. Avalanche defeat the Kings. The Rangers beat the Canadians. And, all right, the Penguins have did finish the business against the Devils. So whoever wins this is playing the Pens. Okay, so whoever wins is playing the Penguins. Whoever wins is playing the Penguins. How's Matthew Ward doing? All right, this first line's got to get shaken up. We can't be having this. I mean, a minus 8 on the first line, bro. 
McCollison's been okay. Eklund, he's been solid. Uh, I mean, Cutter could play first line center. I kind of like Zegris on the wing, but he can also play center. We're going to put Zegris back at center, and we're going to bring somebody up. I would say Cutter. I'm going to say Cutter. And you can move Konechny over here. Cutter to the right wing. Then you got Ward at center. Ward center. Ward center. Whoa. I mean, I don't know. Carlson's beauty, too. He's a beauty. Um, I mean, Holton, the only thing he's done in these playoffs is get us that game winner. I mean, that's just the story of his career. All, only thing he did. Oh, story of his career. He does one good thing, and then he just doesn't do anything else. He just can't follow it up. That's just the story of his career, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I mean, I would say put Ward on the wing because he has an elite shot. He has a really good shot. And put Carlson, I mean, still down the middle. He's one of our better players. you got to keep him down the middle, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go game six. All right, come on. Let's get into game six. Hopefully no game seven. I do not want a game seven. That is all oh, great. Luke Kahn's just scores right off the rip. That's ah, just wonderful. Right, and they're on the power play. We kill it off, but that's not a good sight to see. When they f first, within the first minute, they just bury one in the back of the net. It's not a great sight. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. And after. Okay, fuck. We're down two. We're down. Hey, hey. We've come back from many two goal leads in this series. We, I believe. I'm a little more worried. We're on the power play. Come on now. Come on now. You're, it's a five minute deuce. Jeez. It might have been a four. But still, that's that's something you gotta do. Zegris does score. It's a two one game. Okay. Shots are getting closer. closer. Come on now. Alright, after two, we're down one. We're down one. We got the goal. We just gotta get it. We just gotta get this goal. I wanna end this series right now. Right now. Let's end this series, get her done and over with, and let's go do the Battle of PA, huh? That's what we all want to see. Battle of Pennsylvania, I want to bury them, sons of bitches. <laughs> Manny Bork scores and is now 3-1. <sighs> Come on, somebody, please. 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 Somebody. Come on. Oh, my God. Now they're out shooting us so much. Yep, we're done. We're cooked. It's going to be a game seven. That is not what I wanted to see. Okay. Well, Columbus is on a roll right now. Columbus is absolutely on a roll. Stuart Skinner is locked the hell in. Oh, boy. What do we do here? I, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know what to do here. I, I don't know. It's a game seven. Oh, I mean, the Oilers won their game seven. There's only That was the only other game seven. But I don't know what to do. Like, do you just trust that maybe they get their stuff together? I'm, I'm going to keep Zegers at center because he did get a goal last game. But, like, M Matthew Ward's got a... I mean, if you move him off the second line, like, what do you do then? I, I, don't, I don't know. He's been bad, but, like, I don't know what to do with him. Oh, this has been rough. This has been rough. Could we hire you? Defensively, we got to do something here. I think we got to do something defensively. That's just what it's going to have to be. I don't know if he can keep playing, but, like, we only our only other option is Bernard Docker. So, it's like... I mean, he's not bad, don't get me wrong, but, like, I don't know what we should do here. Should we put in Bernard Docker and just, like, move somebody else around? I mean, Kiva Haru, I mean, he hasn't been good at all either, so it's, like, a minus four. I'd rather have Sadikoff in right now. I, I really don't know what to do. I mean, he, he was only a minus one. He did bring an offensive side to the game, I guess. So, I guess bring him into this, the lineup. And if you want to do Nielsen and LaPointe, go ahead and Sadikoff and Cernak. I don't know. I, I don't know if I could trust a Noonan like that in that. Because Hart hasn't been great in 895. But it's a risk. Game 7, you got to go with the experience. Carter Hart. Because he's won us a Stanley Cup before. So do you really run away from your cup winning goaltender? Someone that's been who's for most of his career, every time he's been in the playoffs, he's locked the hell in. What, what do you do here? I'm not going to overreact. I mean, this entire season, Noonan's been eh. He hasn't been great. Yeah, he had one good showing after Hart shit the bed. We really probably should have lost this series already. But you look at Hart's playoff stats. He's a playoff performer. Yeah, he might not be showing it right now. But like a 9-15 in the last year we made the playoff. And 2026-2027, a stud. 
2025-2026, a stud. And the year we won the cup, a stud. So it's like, he's he's a great playoff performer. It's just the defense right now is a little bit suspect. He could be playing better, yes. Our offense, I, the whole team could be playing better. We've stole a lot of games in this series. We've been the by far the less superior team. Absolutely, and Zegers has not helped at all being at a minus 7 and only getting goals. He probably shouldn't, honestly, be on the first line center. Cutter's been really good. I'm not going to take him off that. I, I'm not. I'm maybe thinking maybe connect me second and get him going there with Ward and Carlson. Or do you move Carlson up? Because he's got a wicked shot and a, he's a good playmaker. What do you do here? I mean, that's just a great question. I, I don't know what to do necessarily. I really don't. Maybe go Carlson, Zegers, Gauthier, Konechny, Ward, Eklund. Or maybe I'm just overreacting. That's a possibility too. Oof. I'm going to rock with this. Because we've been we've not been good offensively. We can't get away with scoring one goal. And then, what was it? One goal the game before. Yeah, no. Something's got to give. we got to do something here. Let's go into game seven. Hey. Or, hey. We can't lose this. I should have messed with the power play. Oh, yeah, I should have done that. Should have, would have, could have, pal. Uh, it's game seven. Do or die. Matthew Ward. He's finally awakened. He scores. Oh, and we're getting outplayed right now. And we are getting outplayed. Power play does get killed off. We're getting outplayed. Oh, absolutely. We're getting outplayed right now. And after one. We're up one. We're up one after one. That's huge. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's huge. Ward comes up clutch about halfway through the first. We needed that. We have about half of the shots that they do. That's not ideal. But we need... To just pile it in. We need to play a better offensively the second period. And let's get after. I believe in this team. We have too much power. Jeez. Cylinder power play for the Blue Jackets. Kill it off, please. Okay. We we kill it off. Zegris. Here we go. Here we go. 2-1. 2-1. Here we go. 2-1 lead. 3-1. Julian West. Playoff performer. Playoff performer. Julian West. Beauty. What an acquisition that's been so far. 3-1 lead. Come on now. Come on, let's just hang in there. Let's just get to the third and hang through the third and move along. We are up 3-1 to one on the Blue Jackets. We're actually playing this game. We're actually playing good. Hart is, like I said, he's dialed in. He's a playoff performer. I told you, boys. He is a playoff performer. Look at them stats. You saw them stats. He's a playoff guy. And here we go. Third period, 20 minutes from... <coughs> fucking get... Oh, oh I don't, speak, don't speak too soon. Still got 15 minutes left. Brandon Meyer might have just sealed the deal, though. He might have just, oh, yeah, pile it in, boys. This is the offense we needed a long, long time ago. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, we might have struggled offensively in this series. Yeah, sure, we might have. But, hey, we still got through it. We had a ton of adversity thrown at us, thrown at us in this series. We were down in so many games, getting outplayed. But you know what this team had? Heart. And, well, yeah, we had two hearts. Actual heart and then Carter Hart. And we bounced back and won the first game when we were down three nothing. And then we won game three being down two nothing or down two late and won the game. Or was that game four? I don't know. It was one of those games, but man. We're playing the Pens in the second round. You got a little battle of Pennsylvania. Carter Hart locked down the fuck in. Got that dog in him again. 42 saves on 954 save percentage. Matthew Ward three points look at that hey look he showed up hey hey if we can carry a little bit of that momentum after game seven the pens have been waiting around a little longer than we have so okay here we go that was a huge win we finally got past the first round and now we're taking on our arch rivals in pittsburgh and the lightning are taking on the rangers this this is gonna be a hell of a wild series okay it's the battle of pa it's the pens and the flyers they, and we're one of the two of the better teams out of the East, if I'm correct. We were, the Metro was such a gauntlet. It was very much a gauntlet. I mean, the Rangers were one point off of us. I mean, the, there was four teams in the Metro better than any Atlantic team. Actually, five. Because um, the Devils. The Devils were also better than the Canadians. So f all five teams that made it out of the Metro were better than any Atlantic team. Which is wild. That is that is absolutely wild. I didn't realize the Rangers were one point off of us. I want to take a look at that Rangers team right quick. What are they, what they've been bad for so long. They should be good. Maurice Colombi, Michael Missa. Ooh. 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 
Real life flyer. Matt Bay Michkov. Woohoo. What a beauty. What a beauty. Lawson Kraus. Berkeley Katon. Alexi Lafreniere. Bottom six is a little weak, but they do got Tyson Forrester though. They do have Tyson Forrester and defensively they're they're pretty decent. They got Fox Neil's Lungfist though. They they do have that and then that Starkin, who's a eighty three. He's thirty six years old. And then Ian Bloomquist. Okay. All right, the Rangers aren't bad. By Gen okay, here we go. Uh, game one against the Pens. Uh, let's just take a look at, at their top performers right now. I just want to take a look at that to get an idea who's kind of hot on this Penguins team. Who is who's the hot hand? Elias Owen, seventy nine overall. Okay, he's got six goals, three. He has a goal per game right now. Cahoon, are you kidding me? That third line's dialed in. That third line's all got nine points. Wow. I mean, they got depth. I mean, if that third line is going to be playing like that, we might be in a world of hurt. However, uh-uh. That ain't gonna, that's not going to happen. That, they're, they have a lot of players that have a lot of points. I mean, they got some guys right now. They got some guys. And Nico, they, Nico Dawes did not have a great series. No, 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 no. He did not have a great series whatsoever. And, hey, we didn't have a great series either. We won seven games after being up 3-1. In a lot of games, we shouldn't have been a game up 3-1. However... We're playing the Pens. There's going to be a lot of hatred coming out. This is going to be the Battle of PA that's going to reignite this rivalry. Because, I mean, we were, they were the cream of the crop this year, if I'm correct. Did they w They didn't win the Presidents, did they? Did they win the Presidents? I don't know if they won the Presidents. No, the Oilers did. Oilers and the Avalanche. Pens were just the best team in the East. Okay, that Penguins team's a wagon. However, we have a lot of talent that can match up against them. I think this is going to be a hell of a bloodbath of a series. Because it always is in the Battle of PA. Here we go and already. Gensel scores within the first two minutes. That's just wonderful. And then on the power play again. Does get killed off. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Oh, uh, come on now. Come on now. Halfway through the first, we're just going to sim. Alright. Still one nothing After 20. And yet again. Within the first minute on the power play. Peterson scores. However, Zeeks. Trevor Zeeks gets it back. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my. Their power play is so deadly. Their power play is deadly. Elias Owen scores. Oh, no. We're down 4-1. Oh, boy. We, we might have... We, we, oh, this is going to be a series. They're, they're firing right now. They are... What is that? Three power play goals? <sighs> I think that's like three power play goals. <sighs> okay. We're getting our asses handed to us right now. I mean, this has not been pretty. Okay, we're done. Yep, 6-1. Elias Owen's an absolute dog. What can I say? That 79 overall is going crazy. Gensel and Pedersen with three points. Okay. Oof. Oof. That was gnarly. That was a gnarly game one. That, that, I mean, wow. They just chewed us up and spit us right the hell out. Oh. Oof. That was brutal. However, let's get, get the bad game out of the way. Get it out. Get it out. Done and over with. Let's just get it done. Get it out of our system. Now it's time to lock in. This is, hey, if we can still win against this Penguins team. And then going back to feeling that hostile environment, especially when the Penguins are coming to town in the playoffs. Woo! Okay, I believe. We just got to win game two. And then just, that's going to flip the script. That's all. Hey, I'm speaking it into existence. All right, game two. Let's go. Oh, we just got to win this. We, gotta, we have to win game two here. We have to win game two. We really have to. All right, uh, power play. Come on now. All right, we kill it off. We kill it off. Okay, that's a good start. They are out shooting us. Eh, that, that's, not, that's not great. No, no, no. Five minutes. Okay. Come on now. Power play. Power play. Power play. No, we don't do anything. Okay, after one. Hey, after one is nothing, nothing. I'll take that, but we need to score. We need to score. I don't know if that one. Fourth liner, Reed Schaefer scores on us. Make that a one nothing Pittsburgh lead. Hey, Eric Cernak, though. Eric Cernak from the right side boards, pretty far back. I wouldn't say that. Is that the point? I don't know if that's... Nah, that's not the point. Nah, that's not the point. But hey, it doesn't matter. It's a 1-1 game. Uh, I think after 2? Yeah, after 2, it's going to be 1-1. After 2, it's 1-1. we got 20 minutes remaining. We really need to win this game. Hart's been locked in. Hart's been playing good so far. 18 saves on 19 shots. Doing well. Doing well. However, the team offensively just needs to show up. We're not putting enough shots on... We're, we're really not. We need more offensive pressure. Hey, we had a good minute right there. But we got to keep going. We have to get dialed in this third period. Let's get after it. Go and keep going. Come on now. Let's go. Five minutes 
Cernak again. Eric Cernak's doing it all. Playing shut down the fence and absolutely scoring beams from the point A. Hey, look at Cernak. Taking it into his own hands. Single-handedly won us game two. Sing all right, I want to say single-handedly. Double-handedly with Carter Hart with the, with him. as like Batman and Robin right there. Cernak shutting it down. Hart shutting it down, being a brick wall. And then Cernak scoring the goals. I mean, our... Th- Eric Cernak. Who would have thought Eric Cernak would have got us all of our goals and won us this game? Eric Cernak, out of all people, our second line right-handed defenseman. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Not me. Not me. However, we got game three. Both series in the East are tied at one. The Rangers and the Lightning, that is what? The 2015 Eastern Conference Final right there? And then out in the West, every series is up 2-0. Uh, hey, if we, if we can get to the Conference Finals... And we win against the Rangers of the Lightning. And the Avalanche come out the West. Boys. I know what that would mean. That would be the third Stanley Cup final between us and the Avalanche in this series alone. I'm praying for that. I'm not going to lie. I really want to see that Avalanche Flyers 3. I want to see it. Because they won once. We won once. There's only one way to sell the score. That's one more Stanley Cup final. And I really would love that to be the case this year. That would be very poetic. Very, very poetic if we can go on and play the Avalanche in the final. Seven, six years later. Six years later, it would be. Seven years later from when we won the Cup. That's a long time. That team's got to be completely different now, right? I mean, McKinnon and Landeskog got to be old. There's no way they're high, high overalls. Uh, where are they? Colorado, right there. They have a new blood out there. Okay, they got new blood. They got Capucaco? Ka- Barkoff, Thomas Haglin, New Hook, McKinnon, Rain. Okay, they're 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 good. They're still good. They got Mc McKinnon and Rantanen on the second line. Oh yeah, and then de- oh defensively, that top pairing's <sighs> that top pairing is af- absolute filth, absolute filth. And then oh okay, Ilya Samsonov. They are older. That's still a hell of a team, a hell of a team. That right there, they got <sighs> all right. Game three. Game three against the Penguins. They score so quick. They waste no time. I, if we can get one game where they don't sc- to score that fast, that would be wonderful. That would be, you know, they're just coming out of the gates firing. Jeez, they are a quick first team, aren't they? And after one, it's going to be a one nothing game after the first 15-second goal by Frederick Peterson. And we're out shooting them. We're out shooting them. Power play for the Flyers. Two-man advantage. Come on now. Are you kidding me? Nicholas Axelson on the shorthand on the penalty. Go- Look at the shot discrepancy. We're out shooting them by double the amount they have. What are we doing? Come on. Put it in the back of the net. Ain't no way whoever the hell is uh, Nico Dawes in net is shutting us down like that. Come on. We're really about to be down 2-1 to the Pens. And also, if... I I just don't want to lose to the Penguins. Like that that would eat me. That would just honestly really eat at me. I'm not gonna lie. That would honestly really piss me off. That would des- that would piss me off because I have, if you guys as you guys know I absolutely despise the Penguins and we lose five nothing. So we get shut out. What is this? Did we get shut out in game one? Did we get shut out? No, we just got shit on. That's all. Yeah, our offense has been non-existent in this series. All right, it's time to switch it up. Uh, Shake it up. All right. Uh, Carlson, nope. We can't be doing that. Uh, Cutter can stay. I mean, this has been a revolting door back here. This has really been a revolting door. Nate, Matthew Ward has been trash. Holton in. Uh, Julian West has been really good. But, like, fourth line's been solid, I, I would say. Yeah, fourth line's been pretty good. I just don't know. I mean, Carlson hasn't done much. I think he's got to throw this to there. And then maybe, maybe you throw Eklund up there. No, no. Unless you throw Zegris. But then this is basically the same. Th- no, I, I think you got to go back with this. I think you got to shake it up on the second line, though, I would say. But would you pull Julian West up to the second line? Let's try it. We're going to try it. I think Eklund's going to be more dynamic. Then Carlson in a two-way aspect. So we're going to put Carlson third line with Coots and Holton in. 
Unless you want to do this. Meyer there, because Holton has got one point. Yeah, we'll do Meyer, Couturier, Carlson, Siggy, Federer. That that works better. Provorov hasn't done nothing. Neither has Yuri Bazkalov. That's just unfortunate. Damian Nilsson's been a minus four. The point's been trashed, too. <sighs> We're going to bring in Bernard Docker. I don't care if he's a left, he's a right-handed defenseman. He's going to be playing that left side. I don't give a damn. We got to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? You really just got to do what you got to do. Uh, let's go. Game four. We have to win this. We just, we have to win. They score so quick every time. I just don't get it. I don't get it. How do they do it? How do they do it? How do they score so quick every time? Power play for the Flyers. Come on. We need to mix up that power play. I've been saying it. I just never do it. No, we got to. We have to do it. Come on. And after one, we're down one. We And shots are even, too. They're very even. This is an even game, but we got to score. We got to put a puck in the back of the net. More than just one. We got to do multiple. Let's go for five. I know, I'm shooting for the moon here, but we got to do what you got to do. We're happy the Emmy. Makes it a 2 nothing game. Come on, boys. What are you doing? It's 3 nothing. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Power play. Come on. Score. Please. Please. Please somebody do something. Oh, now Yuri Bizgalov scores from the, I guess it's a little bit past the circle, but power play. All right. That's got to change. Power play has to change. There's got to be some sort of change on that power play to get us to do something because we've combined in this series. If I'm correct, we've scored three goals, three goals in this series through four games. No wonder why we're down 3-1. We've only scored three goals. That's not even a goal of period. That's just pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. We're swishing this shit up now. Alright, uh, who would I want over here? I'm, I'm going to move Eklund. We're going to bring Carlson on the power play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or no, we're going to bring Ward. We'll do Ward. Why not? Uh... Yeah, we'll 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 do that. We'll we'll do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do that. Um, Zegris, I mean, he's been dookie in my opinion. I mean, he's been he's been dookie. Uh, center wise, I'm trying to think who I could even put. I'm gonna put Carlson maybe. Carlson maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh. Dude, I guess we gotta do something. I mean, yeah, I'd put Briscoff on the right side because he's a right-handed defenseman. So, yeah, I'd put him over there. I'm gonna put Konechny as a defenseman over there. And the second power play, I'm gonna put Ward. I'm gonna take Couturier out. Meyer can go there. And then, is there anybody like we could maybe plug in who's not Julian West? Julian West. I think I'm gonna put him on the first power play. If any, actually, maybe you can do this. And then West has been an absolute dog. He could play that defensive slot right there, too. That is true. Or you could put him at the wing and have him just score beamers, one-timers. I mean, you could do that. I mean, Carlson could do that. I think Carlson has better shooting stats, right? Not really. I mean, don't make a difference. I mean, do it that way. Yeah, we'll do it that way. All right. Julian West has been pretty good for us. I mean, we got to do something here. We had to spice it up. And, uh, yeah, we switched that... Uh, Second defenseman all over there. Instead of Bernard Docker, we're going to do... Um, Pro Ralph. Yep, Pro Ralph. Alright. Or you could do... Either way. Yeah, no, that works. This works. Alright. Uh, we, we made some line... Should we do offensive changes? Because we're still not scoring. I just made some line changes. I don't know how much else I can do. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if I can really do much else. I mean, Julian West, I don't know how, how well he's going to do second line. He's better off on a third line, you know, minutes. So I just don't know what we're going to do here, realistically. I don't know what we can do because Matthew Ward has been absolute dog shit. Couturier's only got, I mean, Couturier's not doing much better. I mean, you could put Eklund there, Carlson there, and then you can do West or Meyer. That's the only thing I can think of because Holton has been dog ass. I mean, it's the only thing I can think of. We got to rock with this. We just got to hope the boys get their shit together. We just got to hope the boys get their stuff together. I mean, Hart, I really can't do anything with him. If I take him out, and Noonan's just going to be left with his dick in his hand, too. I mean, they're not going to be able to do much. They really aren't. So here we go. This might be the final. Elias Owen. All right, I can't get too pissed. 
They didn't score not within the first five minutes. It wasn't within the first five, but we're not doing nothing. Oh, Zegras, he heard me. He heard me. Who's Zuboff? It's not, hey, you know who's not in net? Nico Dawes. Nico Dawes is not in net for game five, so we can pounce on this. They have their backup, and this is the time, you know, maybe get some confidence going. Let's score some goals. Power play. The new power play lines didn't do nothing for us at all. Power play for the Pens. Come on now. Kill it off. Kill it off. Zeeks. He got the first two. Let's go, Zegras. From the slot. Let's go. Give it us a 2-1 lead. Better off. Fourth liner from the point. Or fourth line center. Give us a 3-1 lead. Yes, sir. Let's go. Come on now. Come on now. Give it to me. Oh, Ice Owen. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We are tied at three halfway through the third because of these fucking no-name bozos. Elias Owen, this 79 overall young kid. Who the fuck is this? Why is he doing so good? Power play. We don't do nothing again. Are you kidding, bro? And we're on. The, and we're going to overtime and we're going to watch this. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn. All right, here we go. Game five overtime. We got to do something here. We need to score. We need to win this game. We cannot lose. We simply can't because our season will be done. Come on, connect me. Finish it off. Oh, come on. Come on, Zeke. Zeke. Okay. No, 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 no. All right. Tied up along the boards. Come on. Let's go. Frederick Peterson, number 64. Huh. Interesting number choice. Oh, boy. Oh, someone just got deked out of their fucking skates. And, oh, big save there by our franchise goaltender. The greatest goaltender in Flyers history in this franchise. Carter Hart. Oof. All right, come on now. Oh, excuse me, boys. Oh, here comes Dawson Mercer. Mer come on. Someone play some defense. Out of baby Yuri. Out of baby Yuri. That is a war crime. That is an absolute war crime that someone else other than Crosby is wearing number 87 on the pens. That is a war crime. That We can't. No. Please, no. We can't. EA. Next game. NHL 24. Please put retired numbers into the game. Well, they're already in the game, but you get what I'm saying. Have players like Crosby, Ovechkin, get their numbers retired for when they're done in the franchise. Because no one should be wearing number 87, number 8, whatever, on the Penguins or whatever said team like drew is his number is going to get retired so like once he retires flyers can retire his number and then no one should be able to wear 28 connect me Woo! big save come on zegers come on kicks it out to cernak cernak with the puck cernak going in oh that would have been huge eric cernak's actually been a beast this series so i'm glad to see that but all right within the first four minutes we've had a couple scoring chance like maybe one now it's just the one we just saw but other than that ah and then the pens have had one we've had one so we gotta really get going here ah uh, come on oh here comes nicholas axelson axelson laid out by eric cernak at all boy what a hit by our great defenseman cernak at all boy show him who's daddy show him who's daddy yes king yes king here comes Elias Owen with the puck. Elias Owen. Did, is someone going to get him off, please? Somebody going to get him off the puck? Stefan Carlson tried, but uh, he didn't, no avail. Matt Grizzlick, is that who that is? Matt Grizzlick? Oh, shit. All right, come on now. And, ooh, okay. That, that, he ain't cooking. All right, come on, Stefan. Stefan Carlson loses the puck. Okay. Cahoon with it. He's bringing it up on. Oh, oh, no way. Dominic Cahoon just did that to you, Cernak. No way. All right, come on, Carl. And Carlson loses the puck to Cahoon. Dominic Cahoon with it unnecessary. Hey, hey, not this time, pal. Not this time. He gets laid out. Okay, come on, Ward. Ward, absolute nasty. Ooh, Eklund trying to go top cheese. Ooh, okay, come on. Meyer, Meyer, game. Let's go. What a goal. Brandon Meyer. That is huge. That is huge. There is hope. There is hope. There is a game six in Philly. How about it, baby? That is huge. We needed that desperately. Desperately. Whew. What a shot by Meyer. And look at this. There is a hope. There is another game in Philly. Maybe there's a game seven. I don't know. But hey, we got to get through game six first. We got to win that. All right. Let me, let me get to the menu, please. EA, let me get to the menu. He's, what a shot. Boom. Look at that. The Selly. Nico dot wait, I thought Nico wasn't in the game. So all the series are still 3-2. No one's finished the series yet. The Oilers are up 3-2 on the 
Kraken. The Blackhawks are up 3-2 on the Avalanche. The Pens are up 3-2 on us. And the Lightning are up 3-2 on the New York Rangers. Okay, here we go. Game 6. Obviously, do or die for us. And it's also big for the Penguins. We're the ones scoring early first? Get out of here. Cutter Gauthier from the left side circle. Give us a one nothing lead halfway through the first. Come on now. And after, I, I just send the, just send the period. Okay, one nothing after one. Hey, we scored. Hey, we're the ones scoring early first. Let us cook. Let us cook. Come on now. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, there it is. They got their early goal. There it is. It's just just came in the second period. Nicholas Axelson from the Patrick Kane angle. Oh boy, I just, got, I just gave myself flashbacks. Oh, okay, great. Uh, from the Patty Kane angle, makes it a 1-1 game. Power play, come on, somebody. No, okay. We, uh, power play still not doing anything for us. After two, still 1-1. <sighs> I cannot deal with another overtime. Uh, we need to finish it now. Please, within these next 20, just finish the job. Finish the job. Get us to game seven. Just get us to game seven, and we'll take it from here. I think Carter Hart can steal us a game. Yeah, I mean, he, he, if he can steal us game seven, I mean, he just did, I mean, he can do it. Carter Hart's a playoff performer. He hasn't been great these playoffs. Don't get me wrong, but when the, the lights are shining bright, that's when he starts playing his best. That's when we've seen out of Hart. So come on, we're getting outshot by five. We need to do something here. Come on, power play. Let's go. Thank you. Connect me. 2-1. Thank you. Zeeks. Oh, come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give it to me. All right. Halfway. Halfway through the, halfway through the third. Let's just hang in there. Hang in. There might be a game seven, boys. We ain't done yet. No, 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 no. We are not done yet. There is a game seven. Oh, game seven against the Pens. Game 7, a 970 save percentage from Carter Hart. Okay. Now, boys, if we lose this game, the season's over. If we win this game, the video is over because the next episode will be the Eastern Conference Final. <laughs> so, we have to win this game. I, I mean, no shit we have to win the game. Otherwise, this <laughs> series is done. What the fuck am I talking about? But, like, this is huge. We were down 3-1. We came back. We're now forced game 7. Do, can we, I mean, we're still not getting great offensive production, but Carter Hart's been locked in. He is him. He is him at the him. Like, come on now. This is game 7. We gotta win this. Come on, boys. Let's finish the job. Let's finish the job. Come on. Please. Let's do this. Power play for the Flyers. Come on. Come on. Oh, kill it off. Power play yet again. We're out shooting him. And now we're not. Oh, come on! Desbian scores. It is a one nothing Penguin lead. Okay, come on now. Half, a little over halfway through the first, and it's going to be a one nothing Penguin lead after one. And they were shooting. I was shooting us by two, but hey, we still got 40 remaining. Still very early, I believe. This team's got heart. We've seen it. Thank you. Casper Holton and, and Frederick Peterson just says, fuck you, and gives them the lead right back. Okay. Oh, Zegerson. Uh uh. Mm -mm -mm. We're back right in it. 2 2. Two, two. If, okay, if we're tied 2-2 two, two, going into the third, okay, we might have to watch that third period. For sure, for sure, for sure. Or at least half. All right, let's get halfway to the third and then watch the last. Right, yeah, there we go, there we go. There. That way we're not wasting too much of your guys' time. Listen, I won't waste too much of your guys' time. We'll get halfway to the third. And if it's still, like, tied or close or whatever, then we'll watch. Then we'll watch. But 2-2, two, two, after 2, we're out shooting them. The offense came to show this period. That's huge. We just need to hang in. Oh, uh, hang in there, and we just need to finish the job. Finish the job. I believe in you, boys. I believe in you, boys. This is the battle of PA, okay? You know what we're dealing from the other end. If we lose, they're going to be saying cheats is better. Uh, they're going to be going all on our ass, okay? You're not going to hear the end of it for the ages of time, okay? We have to beat the Penguins, obviously, because we can't. We just can't stay in them, honestly, if you want to advance and win the cup. Cutter! Cutter, Gauthier! I'm going to slow the sim down. Okay, come on now. Three, two... Oh, Cutter Goche from right in f out front. Let's go. I'm going to pause here, and we're going to watch the remaining nine minutes of this game. <sighs> okay. Okay. We just got to hang in there. It is three to two. We are up one. We've, we've been down three one. We have faced so much adversity in these playoffs. We were, we were in game one against the Blue Jackets. Down three nothing. We came right back. Won this game. 
Well, game three or four, whatever it was. We were down too late. We came back, won the game. Cutter Goche with a steal. How about that? Okay, come on, boys. Woo-hoo-hoo, what a hit by Konechny. What a hit by Konechny. Come on, Zeeks. Trevor Zegers with the puck along the right side. Boys, Konechny, one T saved by Nico Dawes. Oh, come on, Dawson Mercer bringing it up. Just get him off. Get him off. Atta boy, Eric Cernak. Atta boy. Hang in there. Let's go. Konechny with it. I'm really shocked by the way we are how we've responded to troubling times in the entire playoffs. I mean with the adversity thrown at us, just coming back so many times in so many different ways. So far, like we were down three one in this series, we come back force a game seven. With so many games we've were down and shouldn't have won. We just fight through and win. Like simply we've been getting outclassed and outplayed for majority of these playoffs. Like, the Penguins have schooled us for the most part, but we've pulled the last two games out of our rear ends, and, yeah, somehow, like, look at it. We don't have any players in the top ten on points. Offensively, we've been basically struggling these entire playoffs, but yet we're, we're finding ways to win games. I don't know how, but we've been. I, I, we probably shouldn't be finding any way to win these games, but we are. I, I don't know, but we have six minutes remaining. We have to hold it down. We have we had to hold it down for six minutes. What a hit by Proveroff. What a play there. Okay, Briskoff up to Julian West. Julian West with it, bringing it along the right side boards. West, all right, he gets hit off the puck. I mean, hey, Julian West, what a trade deadline acquisition it's been for us with him. I mean, he's been such a playoff performer. Ah, I've loved it. I've loved this game. He's been great for us. Such a great pickup. Here comes William Eklund, who we signed in free agency. Eklund, the Proveroff. Proveroff shot save. Come on, Eklund, finish it. No, but Nico Dahls saves it with five minutes exactly left. I've been recording for an hour? It's not felt like an hour. No, this has been gone flying by. Like, boys, this, this recording's gone extremely fast. Extremely fast. Like, really fast. Has not felt like an hour. Ward, the Sadikoff, the Brandon Meyer. Oh, Meyer loses the puck. Okay, come on. Let's see. Let's see what the defense can do. Uh, you guys gonna pressure? Oh, okay. That was what Cernak. Cernak wasn't really forechecking him either, or pressuring him at all. No, he was not. Coots, come on, Coots, give it up. Give it up. Pass the puck. There you go. Good boy. Brandon Meyer with it. Come on, Meyer. Who got the game five winner? Woo! What a shot by Ward. Ward just absolutely was. <laughs> Launched one. I mean, that had some that had some power on it. Cernak with the puck. The Coots. Couture. That could that was a great chance right there. Couturier with an absolute beautiful chance. Sadikov. The Cernak. Oh, that could have been huge if Elias Owen just took. Oh my God. All right. Cernak's looking a little cooked out there. Cernak's looking a little lost. All right. Sadikov gives it up. The Meyer turns it over. Oh, that would have been a beautiful steal. Elias Owen, who's been one of the Penguins' best players all playoffs long. Cernak, you really gonna let that bump, younging bump, just cook you like that? You're lucky we've got Carter Hart in that. Two minutes and five seconds remaining in this game. Oh! Are you no, 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 no? With a minute, and fi why? I've praised Cernak. This entire round. This entire run. And look at him. He's selling the bag. With under two minutes remaining. With under two minutes remaining, he's selling the bag right now. He's selling the bag right now with under two minutes remaining in game seven. We can't be affording this because eventually they're going to pull their goalie. It's going to be a two-man advantage six on four. You're going to have to have faith in the boys on the penalty kill. That's what we're going to have to have. Hepaniemi with the puck. Come on. Come on now. Hepaniemi with the puck. Wait, wait, come on. Come on. Come on. Part. There, there's no defense. There's a simply no defense. I mean, there was, no one was around. <sighs> okay. Huge save there from Hart. Minute 21 remaining. We got Fedorov and Carlson out there. 33 saves for Hart. Another one. Make that 34. Just get it out. Just good dump. Good dump. Let's go. One minute remaining in game seven. Can somebody come up clutch for us and 
or not clutch, but can hold it down. Can hard hold it down. Come on. How are they not pulling their goalie? That's wild to me. We got 45 seconds remaining right now. 45 seconds. Okay. I'm surprised they haven't pulled Nico yet. I am shocked they haven't pulled Nico yet. I am shocked. 40 seconds. Here they go. Nico's out of the net. This is beyond. Oof, come on. Come on. Defense. Come on. Oh, my. Oh, that was close. 30 seconds. Come on. Dump. Dump. Good dump. Good clear. Let's go. Let's go. Hold it down. 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 25 seconds left. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Elias Owen with the puck. Elias Owen, who's been cooking us all series. Josh Norris. Norris with it. He's got a guy. He's got a guy. Oh, Bernard Docker. What a play. Dumped. 15 seconds. No way. We're about to do this. No way. We're about to do this. Come on. 10. 10 seconds. 10. Okay. Come on. That's begins with the puck. He gives it up to Norris. 5. Come on. Hang in there. Hart. What a save. 3. Pearson with it. Gensel. Blocked. Oh, we just came back. 3-1 on the pens. And won the series. Wow. Talk about a choke job. This might be a team of destiny right now. I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Connect me. That, four, that hairline's getting rough on you, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. That shit's going further way back. Woohoo, boy. That shit's going far back. But wow. Wow. I, that's all I can say is wow. This team. There is no quit in these guys. No quit. We were down two man advantage. Two man advantage. With under two minutes remaining in game seven. Penguins down one. And Hart and the boys stood their backs against the wall. Fought back and held in there. Hart 36 saves. I'm telling you. When the lights shine its brightest. Guess who's there to answer the call? Carter Hart. Every time. Every time. Wow. Wow. And the Avalanche beat the Blackhawks, the Oilers beat the Kraken, and the Rangers win against the Lightning. So you're going to have the Flyers and Rangers, and we're going to have home ice advantage. Ooh, this is epic. This is epic. Okay, us and the Rangers, they got they got a pretty nasty squad, and that's going to be next episode. And the Oilers and the Avalanche in the Western Conference Final. The, the NHL would be feasting. At these conference finals in real life, this happened. Oh my, they would be, they'd be eating that shit up. They would be eating it up. Ratings would be great. Connect, I just want to take a look at the points. Zegras has turned it around. Cutter has been great. Eklund, I mean, not great. I mean, that second line's been dog ass, but hey, it's been holding it down. I, I don't know what, how, but like, Hearts kept us in so many games. I, I'm, I don't, I don't, we, we're simply here because of Carter Hart right now. That's just the truth. The past two games, six and seven, we could have easily lost that game if there was a different goaltender in that. Even within those last, I would say, eight minutes that we watched last game, Hart had so many great saves. So many great saves that won us the game. Won us the game and won us the series coming back 3-1. There's been so many comebacks we've had this series, this playoffs. It's been ridiculous. I genuinely feel like this... Hey... The cup might be calling us. The cup might be calling us, boys. I'm just saying, the cup might have our names on it again. Ah, uh, hey, but hey, we gotta get through New York. We gotta get through this Rangers team that does seem to be pretty good. But hey, we seem to be great as well. With our backs against the wall, that's when we're playing our best. For whatever reason. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it, whatever. So, anyway. Big episode next one. We got the Rangers in the Eastern Conference Finals. Well, we're going to see what happens. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in for the next one.